how are you adapting to married life? It's, it's new for you. Uh, it's going great. I'm the winner, I can promise you, in this exchange in every way. <laughs> uh, my, my wife is, um, I, I, uh, no, I, I met my wife uh, a couple of years ago, as a matter of fact, on Parliament Hill, and we were married just after Christmas. And uh, uh, forget running for office, forget the opportunity of being heritage minister to say that I am Courtney's husband is the honor of my life. Spoken like a guy who's only been married for a handful of months. <laughs> yes, how, yes, however, her, uh, her mother and father loved each other until the day her father just recently passed away. My mother and father died, or loved each other until the day my mom died when, when I was 16. And so we have great role models in both parents and loving each other forever. Losing your mother young has a huge impact on any child, you know. Yeah. When you, when you went through it, like, did it... Just, what do you remember the most, like, the biggest impact on you, aside from, you know, losing your mom? Um, uh, well, between then and now, um, I'm 35 now, and um, well, I was 16 then, almost 17. The truth is, my sister, I have two older sisters, we've actually never really fought. Uh, I think that's sort of the benefit of that, um, is that we sort of recognize the preciousness and the shortness of life. But I also recognize, uh, you know, a personal confession here is that I wasn't as good a son as I should have been when she died. I could have been better, and uh, I regret the way in which I, I acted very much like a selfish 16-year-old, and I wasn't there as much as I should have been for her when she was passing away, and I very much regret that. And uh, so I try to take every moment now that I have with my sisters and my dad and my, and, uh, my wife and, and my nieces and enjoy those as much as I can, um, because I wasn't as good a son as I should have been. I was a typical <clears throat> selfish 16-year-old, and uh, it's the great regret of my life, and um, I try to fix it. You're 16. You were a kid. <laughs> I could have been better. Yeah. But I don't beat myself up too much about it, but, but you say the lesson, that's the lesson for sure. And, and sometimes, you, sometimes you experience that by going through, uh, by going through darkness, thinking back, just think, say, man, I, I really missed the opportunity to say goodbye when I could have. I missed, I missed that opportunity to, to let her know how much that, that I know that she loves me. Forget saying that you love her. Yeah. You can say that a thousand times, but when somebody, I think when somebody's passing away, to give them the assurance when they know that their sun is about to set, to let make sure that they know Mom, I know that you love me, just so you know that I know that you do. Um, I missed that opportunity, and I regret that. But who knows? Maybe she's watching. She probably is. <laughs> we'll she's proud of you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. The Honorable James Moore will be right back.